Are you ready to take ChatGPT and Unreal Engine and bring them together? I am. Follow along with me as we get this brand new plugin for free set up and installed in Unreal Engine 5. Hello and welcome. This is Logan and I'm here to review the newly HTTP GPT chat GTP integrated inside of Unreal Engine. In the Epic Games launcher under the marketplace, go over to the free tab and you will see that recently dropped on March 27th, 2023 is a HTTP GPT tool. This will allow us to use ChatGTP inside of Unreal Engine like our little helpful assistant. I'm gonna walk you through installing the plugin, setting it up, and beginning to use it and helping you with your Unreal Engine projects and problems. Click on install and put it into the engine that you would like to use it in. Currently it is available for 4.27, 5.0, and 5.1. I'll be using 5.1 for this demonstration. Now you can see here below that this is useful if you would like to facilitate integration with ChatGTP through asynchronous REST requests, making it easy for developers to communicate with the chatbot. HTTP GPT also includes a new editor tool to integrate ChatGPT directly in the engine. Once you have downloaded and installed HTTP GPT, I am getting really tired of saying that, it is difficult to say, <laughs> go over to your plugins, type in chat, and then you'll see the plugin right here. It is new and it's in beta, and it's gonna give us the usual warning about using a beta, and click yes, restart your engine, and come back here. All right, it is on, we've restarted, we're here. Under tools, we have now HTTP GPT chat. Now, if this is your first time using a GPT or using OpenAI at all, then please read through the documentation so you understand what exactly is going on. Check out the quick start tutorial. What you're gonna to need to do is get your own API key. Click on the quick start. Next, we're gonna add our API key. To get the app working, we're gonna need the API key. If you don't have one, then sign up. Click on signing up to get one. Once you've logged in, click on your personal, and then you're gonna see view API keys. If you don't have any API keys, then you can create one here. Click on create new secret key, copy it, head back to Unreal Engine, and our project settings under plugins, under HTTP, GPT, enter your API key. You'll also need to enter your username, which is the same as your email that you use to sign up for ChatGPT. Now under tools, let's test if it works. Hello, user, hello, assistant, waiting response. Okay, so I have discovered a few things since installing this. Number one, you must have a paid account. You must set up under billing and set up a paid account. It will not work with a free trial. So you will have to link a credit card and set that up. I recommend immediately going into the usage limits. You must be on a paid plan to set up usage limits. You can then change these to be something like a hard limit of $20 or $10 and a soft limit of $5 per month. And that way you are not going to accidentally do too many prompts. Uh, I know somebody who did that in mid-journey, I'm not gonna name any names, I'm talking about myself. Okay, uh, carrying right along. We're in 5.1. I've installed the plugin. We go to tools, HTTP GPT. Click on that, we have it here. I'm gonna dock it. So it's right over here. Up in project settings, scroll down to plugins, HTTP GPT. Enable internal logs. When something goes wrong and you have internal logs enabled with this plugin, we click on our output log and it will give us a error message or show us exactly what's happened. You can then investigate or copy and paste that, put that in the forums and the developer or somebody else who is helpful will try and solve the problem for you. Let's test it out. What is Unreal Engine? 
Unreal Engine is a game engine developed and maintained by Epic Games. It is used to create high-quality interactive experiences across a wide variety of platforms, including consoles, PC, mobile devices, and virtual reality headsets. The engine provides a suite of tools for game development, including a visual editor that allows designers to create environments, characters, and gameplay mechanics without the need to write code. Wow, what's a blueprint? Make sure we're specific. If I just say what is a blueprint, it's probably going to tell me something about architecture. I want to know what an Unreal Engine Blueprint is. Unreal Engine Blueprint is a visual scripting tool that allows game developers to create gameplay mechanics, interactions, and logic without the need for traditional programming. How do I create volumetric fog? All right, so this is where it becomes useful. We can type this into Google, and we can find a tutorial and watch that tutorial, or we can go in and type this into ChatGPT and do that. Or we can have this write an engine, and then we can follow along and have this docked over here and actually be working along. Oh, hey, to create volumetric fog, follow these steps. Open the Unreal project, okay. Open the content browser, okay. Create a new folder and store the fog asset by right-clicking a new folder, all right. This is like having the recipe in here with you. It is not meant to be something to be afraid of. Is it meant to be something to help you be more productive, streamline your learning, streamline your workflow? This is something that we should be not fearing and, and getting excited over and angry over and hateful over. This is something that we should look at exploring to make our lives easier so that we can get back to doing things that matter the most to us, like creating or spending time with loved ones. Now you can see I just crashed, and that is because there is the latest version here the, that has some changes. I have not updated this yet. You can either grab the pull request off of GitHub, or you can wait 24 hours, and it will be updated on the marketplace once it has approval from Epic, which there is no reason why it would not, because he is an Epic developer. Pretty cool to have this little assistant right in here with us. Thanks so much for tuning in and checking out this video on using ChatGTP and Unreal Engine together.